seen the Kenneth Packard video uh, where you guys uh, get in a fight. And I, we only ever got to see Kowski's side of the story. I was wondering if you had anything to <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had my... Uh, <laughs> he was very drunk. In it. Uh, I had had an incident. Uh, uh, I'd had an incident with Kowski where, where he... Uh, he had, I, he was very very drunk and he hit me uh, hard in the in the face once, black both of my eyes. Uh, not too long before that incident, and uh, he kind of uh, got uh, John Bennett was there, and John Bennett was the one that did my first first book. See, he'd come down and and, and it was a little bit jealousy involved there of of the. Uh, this book that John uh, John Bennett has been doing this book all the time. I've been away from him all summer. I see. I, I I've been away from him all summer, and I just barely got back with him. And he'd been with Liza Williams, and he didn't invite me to come to this reading. And I just barely got back. And it was like, uh, but um, uh, if I remember right, it was John Bennett that threw the, the chair through the window. <laughs> <laughs> I admit to some of it for like kicking a door in or something, but <laughs> I must have had my boots on. <laughs> but but I was afraid he was going to hit me. I, I I saw that look in his eye, the same look. But and he had kind of had me trapped in the corner, and, and you know he came out and said I did his arm. Well, I did do that, but but I was afraid that he was going to hit me. That's why I did it. That was my side of the story because <laughs> he. He was holding me into a, a corner with his arm, and he had that look. When when Bukowski got really really drunk, he, he had blackouts, and he didn't, and he truly did not remember uh, what he did. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I had the impression that some other entity came right within his body and started drinking. It was a different than him. I look in the eyes, everything was different. So, uh, and I was like afraid of that person. Whatever that person was, I was afraid of him. <laughs> so when I saw, I started seeing that look in his eyes, I would, I would just get out of his way. <laughs> and then I, I just kept, kept, a, I kept. Uh, that guy, I halfway wondered, Bukowski, when, when I left him, he gave me the plane ticket. He says, "Here's the plane ticket. If anything happens, here's the plane ticket." It was like we would come up together, and then he, as we got off the plane, here's your plane ticket. Like later on, I thought. Oh, so this way it is. I'm on my own, huh? <laughs> I don't think he would have. I wondered if you didn't have the whole thing planned. Did you go back to life? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for sharing. I wrote about that in my book. I've got a book that's unpublished that I'd like to get out sometime. Huh? <laughs> No, I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm waiting for a publisher to come and say, hey, I'm going to do it, and then I'll, I'll work on it again. <laughs> so I've got those sick of working on it. I, I just quit. But it's, I wrote it already. There's a few people who's got a copy of it. Like, <laughs> my publisher down there, Sword, Sword Dog Press right there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, so I... <laughs> He's, he, he, he's got, he did two of my two books of poetry of mine uh, recently. Uh, I thank you very much. He, I was putting out the vibes and he, he caught my vibes right in the air and <laughs> called and asked me. <laughs> so, uh, anything else? Here's a chance, folks. Well, uh, well, then I want to thank you, Linda, okay. for, for being here. This is all Thank you. Thank you. And how about a hand for Matt? Another hour, so I've invited.